I get so much denim donated to me. I knew that I wanted to use it to make my Diffa jacket. So first step is cutting off the legs of all the pants. I first had to figure out how I was gonna get this insulation to kind of stay on the girl's back. I chose to use yardsticks and then laid out on the pant legs and tried to get like a pretty good color palette going, although there's not that many choices with denim. Then I had to sew it all together separately. Once that was all sewn together, I got to paint my extravaganza across it, which was the theme for Diffa. I had to put band-aids, tape, and paper towels over the corners of the yardstick to make it where it wouldn't stab through the denim whenever I put it in, and then measure out where each of the slots I needed to make would be. Then I had to use an even thicker metal and have Andy drill holes in everything and cut everything to length, lay it all out in my living room floor, pin the little slots that the yardsticks will go through, and then sew it all together. Here was my first trial and it actually worked pretty good. I had to make Andy hold it obviously so I could see it. And then we had to put like nuts and bolts and everything. It was like a whole installation. Thank God I have an engineer husband. And then I had to figure out how I was gonna cover all those like little pieces with denim because I couldn't have that metal showing. I used more of the scrap for the actual jacket part because I couldn't just have that back peacock thing without a jacket pin it all together, sew it, which my sewing machine kept messing up. It was making me insane. I basically had to hand sew this whole thing. Then I made these little sleeves, like I said, to cover up all the metal pieces. I was so proud of how perfectly this all was working out and I could fit all the screws exactly where I needed to go, poke the holes in the right places. And then in between the yardsticks was kind of falling in. So I had to add more stabilizers, which I just used foot long wooden rulers that were a bit lighter. But of course I couldn't just add the rulers. I had to add a casing, rhinestones, always have to add sparkle, everyone knows. And then luckily those matched up perfectly. A lot of this I was doing separate times, separate days. So I was like a little nervous if it was gonna work. Then I added those to the inside. Here's me in my room, first testing it. Boom, it worked. I was so excited when I watched this video over because I felt it, but I couldn't really tell what it looked like. And I just used a little circle. I can't even remember what I put inside of it, but I wrapped it in denim and then used that for the little halo that held it all together. And here's me with sweats and a hoodie on underneath <laughs> with that jacket. It looks so bad. And then I sewed more rhinestones, of course. I love time lapse. I love looking back and I wish it, I wish it took me as long as the time lapse shows that it took me. More appreciation for these rhinestones. I, like I said, have to add sparkle. Here's the little halo. That's what held together the little peacock situation. And this is me destroying my living room. <laughs> I sewed instructions into it because I wasn't going to be backstage for the model to know how to work. And I didn't know if they were going to open and close it. All of that. I added like 27 tags to this because I wanted everyone to know who made it and by chance if anyone wanted to buy it and this was the final put together covering of the metal i was so proud of this i will never do this again but i'm so happy that i did it and i figured it out and then that's what it looks like when it's all closed up you can just see the little bolts on there and this is how you close it you kind of fold it in so you can't see any of the letters and then put the little halo on there and of course my tags are showing. Like I said, I need everyone to know my name. And then I had to drop it off at the offices and I was so sad. But I'm so excited I was asked to be a part of Diffa and that I got to donate one of my designs to the show.